Dude, how are you feeling? I'm feeling unbelievable. <laughs> Just, uh, did it feel good from the beginning today? Yeah, I, I will say, so I've been struggling with uh, my Achilles. I've been struggling all year. I don't know what I'm saying. I've been struggling all year. But um, my I have tendinosis and bursitis, so it was... When I came in, it was just about pain management with that because I knew it, it was probably gonna hurt. And just, so I really just tried to keep my warm up short and sweet. And then, yeah, I would say I felt, I it took me a minute to kind of find my jump, but with how inconsistent I've been this year, I expected as much. I I knew that it was just gonna take some reps to, to really find my jump and feel good. And so I'm just, glad that I listened to the adjustments Brad was giving me and committed to those and so yeah it was about as smooth as it could possibly have been for what this year was. Was it shorter on the run-up for you? Is yes. that the big adjustment that you made? Was there anything well, else? Well so I have been doing that all year. Um, one from a confidence standpoint because when you add more speed you add a little bit more during headlights you know and so it, it has to be controlled and I tried a full approach uh, the last two practices but it just didn't feel quite right. I didn't feel quite consistent enough on it to come in confidently to a major championships. And I knew six, I could get on the, the right length poles. And so, yeah, to, to do to jump what I did today on six left, I, I almost keep forgetting that. Like it's I, that shouldn't happen, but I, I did. So I'm very excited. About that. Does that make the future really exciting? If yes. You're putting oh, that together. If anything, it probably shows that I should be jumping a lot higher from full approach, and I've been slacking now. I'm just it, you know, this year happened, this year needed to happen for a lot of reasons, and I, I always try to think that everything happens for a reason, and so I, it showed me how tough I was and how capable I was, even when I've struggled, I, I'm still, I'm still good, I guess. <laughs> big, big picture question for you, I think you guys won, what, two medals in the hurdles, you guys two in the pole vault, two in the, yeah. two in the shot put in the stand. Like, three in the shot put. Three, I'm sorry, three in the yeah. shot put in the, what, what does that say? I it's, mean, it was it just, just, just like. It just says how amazing Team USA is, but also how amazing it is being on home soil at Hayward Field. The Hayward magic is real, and I'd like to think Team USA gets a little bit more magic, but um, it's, yeah, just seeing that, knowing how many people were qualifying for semis and then for finals and then meddling, it's just, it, you watch it and it, it's inspiring. Do you watch it? Can oh, yeah. It oh, yeah. I love track and field. I love all the events. So Even I when really, you're competing, you kind of like peek around a little bit? Uh, I, if I think to it, like if a race goes on by me and I'm not on the runway, I will yell for whoever is, is running by. There's a picture of me cheering for Corey after I went and talked oh, to my coach um, to pass back to the runway. Um, so I just, I love track and field. So it's, yeah, I, I get really inspired by the other events and I'm excited to watch the meet tomorrow. <laughs> like, Did you peer over and watch Ryan at all? I, we did not have a good oh. visual and it, by the time they were kind of like wrapping up, we were, I was just a little bit distracted. I but, heard of this, yeah. um, I, yes, and I, I felt horrible for Devin, but I'm so happy we went one and two in that. And it was a good race. Like, gosh, everything's been so much fun. Like watching um, Grant Fisher this morning, gosh, that, I mean. You love track and field. I do. I, <laughs> You think I'm kidding? It's amazing. I just—it's really fun, especially as you start to get to know the people in it, and then you really want to—you you know them and you want it the best for them. And so it's really fun. It's one thing to perform at the Olympics. It's obviously—it says another to be able to come and bounce back the following year. Yeah. Did you? Was it a struggle after the Olympics? Oh my gosh, To make yes. this yeah. happen today? I have been saying this is, and I—I'm not saying this to be dramatic, but this was the hardest year of my life from a pole vault standpoint. I just, I crashed so hard after the Olympics and then was immediately competing again. And it just felt like whatever turned on my motivation and my adrenaline was broken. I would get to meets. I remember early indoors, I would be crying as I was getting ready for a competition because I just didn't feel excited. And I never felt that before. And I think after five years of stress and anxiety around the games, and then I, I just crashed and I, didn't know if that was me being like, okay, you're 31, it's time to call it, it's time to throw in the towel, or if it was just because of what last year was and I bounced back. And I'm so happy I fought through it and I bounced back. But even two months ago, I was crying, wondering if this is it, if I retire after this year. Not. I definitely 
I want to go through 2024 to try and defend my title. So that's my goal. That's my plan. And but yeah, it's it's. I the reason I was sobbing up on that podium was because <laughs> I just this year has been harder than anything I I imagined it could be, and I'm just really proud of myself. Can anyone understand it maybe better than your training partner? Uh, yeah, I mean, she saw it every day. I, every day I was crying at the track, and I'm sure I was not. I feel terrible. I apologized to her more than once about not being a good training partner because I, and it had nothing to do with her. It was just, you know, coming in every day. Pole vault requires this motivation for me anyways. There's a fear element. I've always been a little afraid of it. So without that underlying, you know, motivation and, I got to get off the ground. I just didn't have that this year, and it's really hard to pole vault when you're not feeling that oomph. And so I just, she, yeah, she got to witness it, which almost makes me feel a little bit worse because she, she's had a great year, and I, you know, but I, I wanted it, so <laughs> I don't feel like terrible, but I feel terrible. Very cool. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, thank you.